This swashbuckling pirate type's been around since the early days of 1999, and after a brief appearance in Metarot 9, has made his place in most Metarot rosters solid. It is KZA0 Kaizo Koro, with a kit of Gatling, Sword, Hammer, Biped Legs, and the leg ability of Excel, which grants a mobile boost effect to self when charging Metaphors. Now, as a model that is available in the permanent banner, which means rookie meta runners will get him early on, veterans very likely have already seen him 8, 9, 10 times in any given gacha banner pulls at this rate. He is still a model of incredible balance and a very good versatile kit that is predominantly melee oriented in his favor. His head and his only shooting based skill on his kit is Gatling, which is a conventional shooting skill that is a scattered AoE, meaning upon damaging a target, it will damage one part normally and then choose two others at random to deal one third additional damage. Right Arm of Sword is a conventional melee skill and one you can never ever go wrong with using for its very balanced, for its very balanced stats, very balanced skills, and with no, with no cooldown penalty such as no dodge or no defend. Hammer is another conventional base skill and probably not used as often, but still has its selective uses if built right. But compared to Sword, which is a conventional skill, Hammer is a full AoE, meaning it will take its whatever damage it deals and spread the damage equally across the target and all of its active parts. That means if all four parts are healthy, 25% per part, if only three parts are active, 30% each, and so on and so forth. The only time this is not applied is if the enemy has conceal apply, uh, on effect on self, of which hammer will focus all of its damage on the one part it's intending to attack and possibly break. Biped legs do also give Kaiser Koro a very solid coverage across most terrains, and even if some of his stats may not be as high for the rookie meta rotter or even the brand new player, he still is going to be someone that is incredibly invaluable to use across any kind of teams that you're building early on. And the Excel leg ability is honestly very nice too, and it has a very nice charm even to veteran meta rotters, as the mobile boost does grant buff his mobility by about 20% or so once the effect is officially active, even if it does cost him a turn to, to actually activate it by charging Metaforce. As a pure set score, I do honestly have to rate Kaiser Koro a very solid 7 out of 10. Very good balance, very good stats, very good armor pool as well. His, whole, his only heavy part, if I recall, is only is just his head, which really isn't all that bad either. The only major drawback to Kaiser Koro is his leg stats are somewhat mediocre, unfortunately, meaning once you start getting into higher end competitive, they are probably going to be the first thing that you drop, in it, as well as with his head part, which even as a scattered AoE does kind of have selective use. In addition to this, because he is considered a hybrid fighter, having a shooting skill and two melee skills, um, you will, it will take a little bit of time to actually figure out how to spread load his skills for whatever metal you choose for him. However, because he does not have any kind of reliancy on, say, metaphor sustain or anything else in need of, like, basic power, though it is nice to have, it does kind of give you back a little more flexibility on your metal choice if you do choose to use him. The only other question you'd have is how you'd spread the metal. Personal recommendation would be to focus the emphasis on melee, as he has two melee skills, and give him the minor in shooting. As mixed parts, I do have to rate him much higher at an 8 out of 10. Given that his arms you can easily use anywhere with no it, with, with no potential drawback or even as a curse or, or a negative or as a negative thought, because they are very well balanced and well rounded skills that on any conventional melee fighter or even your melee nuker that needs a balanced skill as a fallback. There's, there's generally parts you can gener you can never ever go wrong with. Now his legs, like I mentioned, will probably fall off early, uh, relatively earlier on uh, once you start getting some better legs. And even if his head may not be as usable, Gatling does have a naturally naturally high success rate though, which means it is more likely to land a lot of critical hits um, once it if you do have the success high enough on it, which does kind of make it a little more vi po uh, possibly viable to use if you do choose to use the part or him as a pure set.